It is a proven fact that being able to produce three, four, five times as fast will make you a better producer because you're able to get to point A to point B a lot faster than if you're manually searching for stuff. For that reason, I'm about to put you on game to my favorite plugin probably ever, definitely favorite Max for Live plugin, and that is Shortcut Buddy by Noir Labs. <laughs> Before I get right in, I just wanted to mention that I'm currently doing one-on-one -on -one mentorship lessons. I have three degrees in music production, 10 years experience, blah, blah, blah. I've had some very good mentors in my career and they've really helped me to accelerate my path of learning. So if that's something you're interested in, the link for that's in the description. Let's get into Shortcut Buddy. All right, so we're gonna open up an instance of Shortcut Buddy. And keep in mind, this is also a newer updated version. They just updated it within the last couple of weeks. Now, instead of having 12 slots or 12 macros, you can actually have up to 64. So that's 64 different plugins you can map to keys, MIDI, uh, keyboard, anything. This is kind of how you use it. So we have our instance here, we have Shortcut Buddy, and we have eight different slots. Like I was saying, you can change it, we can go up if we want. But for this example, we're just gonna look at a couple of them. So the first thing to note about doing this is you can't directly take a plugin and drop it right on. It has to be a .adg or a .als file. So in order to do that, I'm going to come to an audio track and we're gonna go ahead and open up a Pro Q3. This is a great one to have on Autom Automap. So what we're gonna do here is, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and click it, Command G, so it groups it. And then we're gonna go ahead and save this. I already have one saved, so I'm not gonna do it, but we're saving the group. And the group makes it a .adg file. So we have it right here. Now that it's a .adg, we can take that from our menu here and drop it right onto drop file. You'll notice when we do that, it changes the name to the same name as our .adg file. Now all we have to do is either Command M for MIDI map or Command K for keyboard map and choose which key we want it to be. Now remember in doing this, you wanna make sure that you're not overriding any existing or used keyboard shortcuts that are used in Ableton. So uh, I found one that I use for Pro Q3 is P. I like to use like the first letter of them. So I'm gonna Command K, click open, click P, Command K to exit out. And now anytime I hit P, I get a Pro-Q. And this is fire because I'd be opening up Pro-Q a lot in sessions and this saves me those little increments of time, man. Every time you go over to grab one, 30 seconds, 15 seconds, whatever it is, cutting that out is definitely gonna help you produce a lot faster, which is gonna make you a better producer. So a couple examples of ones I use just to kind of show you. I have E for EQ8, super quick and easy. Just hit an E and I have the EQ8 here. I have one for auto filter, uh, P for Pro-Q, like I said. And really, I mean, the world is yours with what you want to map. You know, whatever plugins you use the most, you have them right there with one key. Like I was saying, they can also MIDI map them so you can put them on your MIDI keyboard, press one button. So super fire. Uh, once you get in the swing of using it, like literally you're just going and going and going. So it's a super fire plugin. It's only 15 bucks. I'll go ahead and link it in the description. And that's all for today. I'd love to see what you guys do with it. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Peace.